Making excellent new contacts is always a given at an inspired event, but there was much more too. London's plush Mayfair Hotel was the setting for University Challenge, a chance to learn how to unlock the hidden potential of accommodation for students and young professionals. With student numbers growing at 15 times the rate of new supply in the capital, Inspired's Chief Investment Officer Tim Watts kicked off by talking about some exciting solutions. I think the solution at Inspired Asset Management is, is creating large residential funds that are attractive and allow the smaller investor to uh, take, a, take a slice of the residential market and benefit from the economies of scale. And Urban Share is now up and running and investors are already putting their money into this, into this fund. Guest speaker Robert Weaver, head of residential at Invista, shared his views on the potential of student and residential accommodation from the perspective of an institutional investor. The message I want to get across is in twofold. Firstly, um, the benefits of residential as an asset class on a standalone basis. Um, we believe it delivers the highest level of return and the lowest level of risk, uh, which as an investment manager is where you want to be. And secondly, if you are sold on that message, how you'd, in, how you'd actually set about investing in that as, as an asset class. Um, uh, to date, it's been done by uh, by let individuals individually buying a single house, single flat. Um, we would argue that actually it's, it's safer um, to do it in a collective pooled vehicle where you've got grouped assets and by grouping the assets and massing them together you diversify that risk. And as you'd expect from an inspired event, the whole evening was presented in an engaging, exciting and inspiring way. In the 80s, I remember it was ban the bomb, students now are demanding ensuite accommodation. A panel of property experts and students led a university challenge style debate about investment opportunities and student needs. For me the hardest thing was the transition period from accommodation to private residence. Uh, it's kind of this vicious cycle of having proof of address, uh, trying to find a good broadband deal and then signing these contracts and not knowing whether you'll be in that flat for the next two years and signing those contracts. So if I had a flat nearby which had set a set rent which included broadband and TV licenses and everything, I think I would, I would probably opt for that now. I think it really helps to have a support network of other people who are sharing ideas, sharing contacts, sharing knowledge and experience and, and as a group there's strength in numbers and none of us is smart as, as smart as all of us so we can all move forward to be, you know, more together if, uh, if we work as a group. I recently was a student, um, I'm now in property. Um, the event tonight I thought was very informative. I love the stats bit of it where the guy was um, displaying some of the numbers and because I'm a I'm very, very numbers person, so it's good to see how it performed against other sectors. I think this is an absolutely perfect opportunity for people like me who invest in property. There were, though, there were, I mean, you know, at my grand old age, there is not a better time in my lifetime to buy property than now. So, yeah, I'm doing it. Full steam ahead. <laughs> You can do so much with your money. Why don't you buy a home?